Hey guys, Cindy out here at Moxie Endeavors. How are we doing today? Um, ouch, I'm doing okay. Still in my squeaky chair, as you can hear. It's time for pick 10, pick 10, pick 10. I really enjoy doing these. These are just so much fun. You never know where it's going to end up. And I think that's what's so fun about it. That was last month's. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so we've got a pick 10 for this month. What I'm going to do is what I always do is I'm going to cover this other page up. And we're going to focus on this page. And are you ready? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out 10. One. I'm not looking. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, here they are. So only one of them is upside down, which is good. So that's a gelato or a gel pen through a stencil. But we're going to start with number one. <laughs> White space. All right, that's easy enough. Done. All right, uh, number two is gelato or gel pen through a stencil. So let me grab, I'm actually going to use my gelatos. So let me grab my gelatos and a couple stencils and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm going to move these over just a little bit just so that they get out of my way. And I've got a couple stencils here and let's see, here's my gelatos. So what are we going to do today? Let's use, I haven't used red. Let's use some red. So I'm just going to put some here. I'm going to throw a little bit of water on it, and I'm going to take my sponge, and we're just going to put some gelatos through a stencil. Now, I'm sure I could do this another way by, um, you know, actually putting the gelato on the stencil, but I don't want to do that. I like it this way. So we're just putting some gelato through a stencil. Okay, let's do another one. I don't want red. Let's do let's do this light pink. Same thing, I'm just gonna add it to my board here. Add a little bit of water to it. Just one squirt. And then do it through my stencil. Look at that. Simple, simple. All right, and we still have white space, which was our number one prompt. Okay, so gelato through a, st or gel pen through a stencil. Number three, we have use Sharpies. Huh, let's see. Let me think about this for a second, and I'll be right back. All right, so what I did is I got out my book of templates here, and this has just got all kinds of, this is from the old scrapbooking days all kinds of template stuff in it and I thought hmm, what am I gonna do well I have this idea that I'm gonna use some sharpies and I'm just gonna do some journaling lines um, hopefully with any luck I'll be able to do some journaling in this so let's just I got three sharpies here um, I've got a blue green and a turquoise and I'm just gonna start playing so I'm just going to start doing some lines and see what happens, you know? So we're using our Sharpie and we're doing what our pick 10 says to do. Let me get rid of that. That's not going to work there. All right, so there's those three. Let's do them down here on this corner. Fun, fun, fun. Get away. I'm gonna 
gonna do one more. Where do I wanna put it? Let's put it right here. Do you wanna do it there? Let's just do a partial. All right, so there we go. We used a Sharpie. Let's see what is next. So that was number three. Number four is use tinted modeling paste. All right, that's going to take me a second because i got to grab my modeling paste, and I want to put these away, and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got some modeling paste here. This is deco art modeling paste. I have just this little piece of plastic. And I'm going to grab some modeling paste. Don't want a whole ton. I just want some. I'm going to stick it on this little thing here. And I decided I'm going to tint it with this as Dale Aroni Pearlescent Ink. And this one is a neon green. Because I can. Come on. See how much ink it takes to tint this. Not much. It lost some of its pearlescent quality, but that's fine. I do want to put a little bit more in there though. Let's just add a little bit more. A little bit of something else in there. All right, so here's our neon green tinted modeling paste. And we're going to use it with, I've got a couple of Gina stamps or stencils here. This one is the orange slices. Get stuff off my table so I can actually work. Um, and there's the arrows, but I'm going to use the orange slices. And we're going to use our tinted modeling paste. You know what? I'm going to need a lot more than I've got on this container. See, it's either hit or miss. I either do way too much or not enough. This time it was not enough. And you see all that stuff that's coming up? That's actually from this plastic. See how it's got that red in it? I'm not sure if I like that or not. I'm going to say, yeah, I do. We're going to leave it. So, I have to make lots more of this. So, let me get some more modeling paste out. So, I want to do at least two more of those orange slices on here. So, let's take some more modeling paste. And these little, ooh, that time it worked. I was going to say these little dauber things wasn't working on my ink. Well, guess what? It worked that time. So I have lots of ink on here now. Just want to mix this up so I don't end up with white blobs somewhere. Now I think I have way too much. But you know what? That's okay. I have a book right next to me that I can put leftovers in. All right, so we've got more modeling paste. So let's take it. Ooh. Dang, I'm just being messy today. Hold on. All right, let's take it. And like I said, it's get some of that red off the, the plastic and I'm okay with that. So I'm just gonna leave that in there. you guys on hold for a minute actually before I do that I am going to use this other stencil now this one's got a bunch of red and blue and I'm just gonna turn it over so I don't have to use that part of the stencil and I just want to put a few of these on here 
just a couple. A couple, two, three. I don't know the name of this stencil, but it reminds me of like those little coconut macaroon things. The shape of it. So Gina, if you don't have a name, it's called the coconut macaroon. <laughs> That one, and we'll do one more down here. Then, of course, we've got to get this dry because gosh only knows what the next step is. All right, perfect. I'm going to dry this, use up the rest of my modeling paste here, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is still a little bit um, wet, but we're going to see what the next one is. Uh, number five is music paper. Hmm. I actually have... Um, this paper from Tim Holtz, which is, you guessed it, music paper. So we got to figure out how and where we're going to put this on here. Don't really want a ton of music paper on here, but we'll put some on because that's what it says to do, right? So, let me grab some glue. Um, this texture paste, I don't want that. What did I do with my glue? Hold on. There it is. Right here. So, I'm going to take some glue. This is just um, Ink Essentials Glue and Seal matte finish that I probably got on clearance somewhere. So let's put some music paper down. I'm going to put it right here. Now, like I said, I'm not going to mess around with that modeling paste because I know it's not all the way dry. So we're going to try to continue this without having to wait for everything to dry. Let's put it right here. Then hopefully I won't mess that all up, right? And we gotta have another one. Let's put a little piece up here. It's upside down. I really don't care. Yeah, see, there you go. And a piece here. I'll cut that off later. And a piece here. Alright, so we've got music paper. What's next? I'm just going to set this aside, put it in my scrap drawer later. Alright, number six old book pages. Alright, hold on. Alright, I've got this folder of just book texts, so let me see what we can find in here. Old book pages, huh? Alright, let me see what I can find and figure out how I'm going to put them on here, and I'll be right back. Alright, so i got this old book page here, and I got out my butterfly punch, and let's see if... Right side. I want the wording right side up, just for the heck of it. Look at that! Yay! I have a butterfly. Oh, I don't know if it's going to show. We're going to have to get these a little bit darker. So let's do a couple more. There's another one. Do, do. There's two. Let's do one more. All right. So here's number three. So now I want these darker because I want them to stand out more. So I'm going to grab... 
These are my Jane Davenport and Speedball watercolors. And this one. I just want to make them darker. So I'm just going to darken them up. Aren't these pages fun? I'll be honest with you, I've been having a really hard time. Um, even thinking about arting since I lost my boy Buster and I've, I started a few videos earlier and I I really pushed myself to do those videos and you know art is something that I have to turn to when I need to um, get rid of some of those negative feelings and you know some of the depression the emotions that kind of stuff so um, this is this right here the pick tens are actually a really cool way to um, do that to get rid of those feelings look at that aren't they pretty they're gonna look so cool now I just did them with watercolor stupid me so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue them and then I'm gonna end up having stuff all over so let's try not let's see if we can just real quick hit them with glue boom should stay there right we hope As long as I don't overdo it, I should be okay. The key to that is don't overdo. So I'm going to put one right here. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Let me dry these up, and we are going to go on to see. Actually, we'll see what the next thing is first. Okay, that was one, two, three, four, five. That was number six, old book pages. Number seven is buttons. Hmm. All right, let me dry this up, and I'll be back. All right, so the next prompt is buttons. And what I did is I have this button punch. And I want to see do that. Buttons. Do, do, do. Buttons. So I wanted to make some of my own buttons. And that's what we're doing. They're cute. Keep hearing a noise. Not sure what it is. <laughs> buttons so we're gonna put our buttons on keep running a noise and it's driving me crazy anyways all right so something is her something 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 all right let's do one button two buttons It's my <sighs> something over there is squeaking. So hopefully I, I will figure it out because that'll drive me nuts. Alright, anyways, back to what I'm doing. Buttons. This page is kind of interesting so far. It's not, I don't know where it's going. Don't know what it's gonna end up at, but we've got three more prompts, so. Let's see what happens. All right, so there's the buttons, which we did with a punch. 
All right, that was number one, two, three, four, five, six, number seven. So number eight is no black. All right, we can handle that. That's an easy, that's a free one. No black. All right, so I can't use black. Number nine, tissue paper. Hmm. How am I going to incorporate tissue paper in this? Let me think about this for a second and I'll be right back. All right, so I got out my box of tissue paper that I keep here. Um, this is just stuff that's either been sent to me in Happy Mail or I've picked up or, you know, pieces I've shared along the way or whatever the case may be. And I'm looking through it and I found, I found this first. And I thought, oh, that's pretty. But then I thought, no, I don't really want to cover up what I'm going to cover up. So that's a no. Then I saw this, and I thought, hmm, mm, no, I don't think so. So that's not going to happen. Then look what I found. I found some bees. And guess what? Always got to have bees. So there's going to be a few bees on our page. There's one. A couple of them are already going off the pages, which is fine. I, I actually got this piece of bee paper from Gina Ahrens. I don't know where she found it, but I really wish she <laughs> had more. Because <laughs> it's great. I love using this little thing of tissue paper. So I'm just basically putting some bees off the edges because... I don't want to waste what I already have with these little guys, um, but we'll also do a few regular size ones. So yay, the bee tissue paper saved the day. All right? Let's put you right here. Love it. And we'll do another one. This little guy. Now I also found some hearts, um, but I don't really want to put them on here. I just, mm, not really, not feeling the hearts. So there's the B. So there's our tissue paper. I wonder if we're going to be able to put any words on here this time. Let's see what the prompt says. All right, tissue paper. Next and least, but not last, but not least is ephemera. That could mean anything from die cuts to whatever. Hmm. This one I'm scratching my head, I gotta think about. So <clears throat> let me put some of this stuff back and we'll figure out what kind of ephemera we're gonna add to this. All right, I'll be back in a minute. All right, so I started going through some of my stuff and I'm thinking, what do I wanna put on here? And it says ephemera. Well, I'm gonna pick these up, these are all done. Um, you know, I went through, I've got a drawer here full of goodies and stuffs that I went through and I thought, hmm, and I picked out two of these that I'm not sure which one I really want. This is just a piece of packaging off the Jane Davenport, one of her, one of her um, products. Okay, and I thought that looked kind of cool here, but I'd have to round it just because I can. All right, so I thought that would look kind of neat there, and just, just ephemera, you know. Um, and then I saw this little girl. This is actually, I got a whole bunch of these a long time ago. They're, it's the front of an old greeting card is what it is. It actually says greetings on her jacket, even though you can just barely see it. Um, and I thought, mm, she looks kind of cool standing here. So, <laughs> now I have to decide which one do I want. I think I like her better. So guess what? She's going on. She's got it going on, going on, going on. And I'm just gonna put some of this tape on her. I don't need a whole lot. Just need a couple pieces to throw here and there. There's one. There's two. And four. All right, so this is our step number 10 on our pick 10 process. 
um, I like it. I, I like how it came out. Had no idea, as usual, where it was going, but I'm happy with the outcome. And I hope you guys try these. They're just, they are so freeing, and they're so, you know, freeing yet challenging, but yet they're fun to do. So, definitely share with me your pick tens. I really, really, like I said, I really enjoy doing these. <clears throat> All right, and there is this week's, pick, or yes, yeah, this week, this month's pick ten. So I really would like to do some doodling and stuff around it, but it's not in the instructions, so it's not going to be done. All right. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you uh, leave any comments down below, I will answer them. And as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.